Seed plants. Seeds are so common that they're easy to overlook. What are seeds? Every seed contains a living plant ready to sprout as soon as it encounters the proper conditions for growth. The production of seeds allows plants to colonize even the driest environments on land. The reproductive process for land-based plants include the cones or flowers, the transfer of sperm by pollination, and the protection of embryos in seeds. A seed is a plant embryo and a food supply encased in a protective coating. The living plant within a seed is a diploid and represents the early development stage of the sporophyte phase of the plant life cycle. In seed plants, the male gametophyte and the female gametophytes. In, in seed plants, the male gametotypes and the female gametotypes grow and mature directly within the sporophyte. The gametophytes usually develop in reproductive structures known as cones or flowers. Nearly all gymnosperms bear their seeds directly in the scales of the cones. Flowering plants, the angiosperms, bear their seeds in flowers instead of a layer of tissue that protects their seed, like in a cone. So gymnosperms are cones, angiosperms are flowers. In seed plants, the entire male gametophyte is contained in a tiny structure called a pollen grain. Pollen grains are carried to the female reproductive structure by wind or animals such as insects. The transfer of pollen from the male reproductive structure to the female reproductive structure is called pollination. The yellow cloud is pollen shaken from a tree. After fertilization, the zygote contained within a seed grows into a tiny plant, the sporophyte embryo. A tough seed coat surrounds and protects the embryo and keeps the contents of the seed from drying out. The embryo begins to grow when conditions are right. It does this by using nutrients from the stored food supply until it can carry out photosynthesis on its own. How does fertilization take place in a gymnosperm in the absence of water? In gymnosperms, the direct transfer of pollen to the female cone allows fertilization to take place without the need of water. The word gymnosperm means naked seed. Gymnosperms produce seeds that are exposed on the scales within cones. Reproduction in conifers takes place in cones which are produced by the mature sporophyte plant. Seed cones produce a female gametophyte and are generally much larger than pollen cones. Near the base of each scale are two ovules where the female gametophytes develop. So in the cycle, the seed cone, cone scale, ovules are contained in here. The diploid cell is on the ovule, goes through meiosis, and then there's four haploid cells, and there's a female gametophyte. N, haploid. Pollen cones produce pollen grains, which make up the entire male gametophyte stage. So the pollen cones make up pollen grains, the male gametophyte, haploid. One of the haploid nuclei in the pollen grain will divide later to produce two sperm nuclei. Produces the two sperm nuclei. Within the ovules, Meiosis occurs, producing the haploid cells that grow and divide into female gametophytes. Each gametophyte contains a few large egg cells. In the spring, pollen cones release pollen grains that are carried away by the wind, as shown in the figure earlier. Some pollen grains are caught in a sticky secretion on the scales of female cones and are pulled inside toward the ovule. This direct transfer of pollen to the female cone allows fertilization to take place without the need for open water. If a pollen grain lands near an ovule, the grain splits open and begins to grow a structure called pollen tube, which contains two haploid sperm nuclei. Once the pollen tube breaches the female gametophyte, one sperm nucleus disintegrates. The other fertilizes the egg. So the egg cells and discharged sperm nucleus and here's the pollen tube. Fertilization produces a diploid zygote, which grows into an embryo. A seed is an encased embryo 
that is ready to be scattered by the wind and grow into a plant. So this is the new sporophyte, the zygote, and deployed. It's gametophyte tissue plus the seed embryo. It becomes a germinated seed and then triggered to grow in the right conditions to become a seedling and then a mature sporophyte, a tree.